Hey, welcome to this quick video, yet another one about the HoloLens 2 and Azure Remote Rendering. Uh, today it's about photogrammetry. So what you can see here is a photogrammetry model, basically a 3D scan of the Pincho sculptures at the Pincho Hill in Rome. And as you can see, it's quite nice and detailed. And so I figured since we cannot travel to Rome for a little while, at least I cannot, during the current situation, um, you know, why not go there and explore it at my own pace, at my own house, basically. So photogrammetry, as you might know, are basically 3D scans based on lots of photos. And that can be a pretty good use case for a business as well. If you think about, if you don't have a CAD, if you don't have a computer-aided design model, like the one I've shown you in the last version of the video with the engine, if you don't have that, right, because you need to create that, of course, you can actually create a 3D scan, a photogrammetry of a real-world object, which could be an engine or machine. And typically, these 3D scans produce a quite dense point cloud, which is then, you know, transformed into a polygonal version, which then typically takes millions of polygons. So this one here, for example, is a one million polygon model. And I took that straight out of Sketchfab, this public website, and the user Spockdown there provided that for free. So thanks, man, for providing us there. So we can, you know, take it and look at it. And like I said, you know, if you don't have a CAD design uh, available of a real world object, you can actually create it quickly. And the awesome part is with Azure Remote Rendering, you don't have to do further reduction. You can use your high detailed millions of polygonal model and visualize that here in 3D, right? Without any photo reduction and nothing needed. Uh, you might notice the video is a little bit choppy and it's lagging sometimes, but that's actually not the case if you view it with your own eyes. So for me, it's really stable as I, as I view it here. Um, that's only because of the video recording the whole lens is using. The mixed reality capture is not applying late state reprojection. So that's why it might be a little bit choppy. But anyway, awesome use cases with Azure Remote Rendering using CAD designs and photogrammetry straight out of the box. And thanks for watching, my friends, and take care.